Welcome to Macho Movie Madness. Ooh, yeah. I am Brandon, your host. This is Andrew, and this is Chris. Hey, hey. Hello. And today, Heidi Ho, we're bringing you another another great year of movies. The last uh, time we did a year, it was 1982. We did the summer yeah. of 82. Yeah, old busted. Old, old and busted. This is the new hotness. <laughs> this is this is 1984. And might I add, or dare I say, it could be bigger. <gasps> dare? You dare? You dare? I do dare. Do do. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if it's bigger, but it. I don't know. There's a laundry list of, of movies that seem to me... When looking at it, just it seems bigger. Yeah, I mean Terminator. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah. Front and center. Front and center. You Front got the Terminator. Terminator. Uh, you also have Purple Ghost. Rain. Go- oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's waiting for his uh, Purple Rain, the best movie of all time. Ghostbusters. Revenge of the Nerds. Gremlins. Police Academy. Police Academy. Remains Nightmare on Stone. Elm Street. Karate Kid. Oh my god. Karate, karate Kid. Oof. Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop. This is Spinal Tap. Yeah. Red Dawn. Uh the actual movie 1984, which is very influential. <laughs> uh Children of the Corn. Yeah. Dune. 16 Candles. 16 Candles. Star Trek 3. The Natural. I know, right? Footloose. Footloose, yeah. Let's dance. Once Upon a Time in America. God, dude. Uh, Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Yeah. Bachelor party. Yeah. Oh, God. The Night of the Comet, which is, I think, that's one of my favorite uh, no, cult, cult classics. The Last Starfighter there, too? Yes. The last Starfighter. Yes, Starfighter. Yes. Or Starfighter. Uh, the Never Ending Story. Starfighter. Temple of Doom. Streets of Fire. Yeah, Temple the, of the Doom. The Temple of Doom. Romancing the Stone. Yeah. Uh, Paris, Texas, which I is another... Um, Classic that I like. Body Double, another one that I love that's very un, under under uh, talked about. Under Sieged. Uh, yeah, Under Sieged. <laughs> uh, Conan the Destroyer. Which the we one- established was a very good movie. Oh Richard my God, Chandler. the best. Very one. good. <laughs> uh, the Woman in Red, another underrated. I was um, about that. Top Secret. Firestarter. Yep. Oh my God. Stop it. I can only get so erect. <laughs> I can't take no more. Uh, so let's. What do you want to talk about? Four of them. I'd say we just. Well, I'd say we just. We talk about whatever. Supergirl. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, Supergirl, the best movie of all time. Right there, Supergirl. Dude, that's like there's too much to talk about here. Well, uh, we don't talk about. We just. We just. Oh talk no, about, we got. We got to go through every single every one. single one of them. Star yeah. Trek and all. Yeah, even the ones that nobody knows. No, about. yeah. Um, no, I Am- say... Amadeus. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I wrote that song. <laughs> yeah, me too. Four, <laughs> four years before I was born. Yeah. Well, you know. It's one of those things. Yeah. I did it when I was on my daddy's sack. He's <laughs> very creative, this yeah, guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, they say you're way ahead of your time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. Um, I don't know. I'd say we just pick movies yeah. that What's we your, like to... What, What's your favorite movie? <laughs> don't even talk. Cause I, I already, I'm not sh- saying a thing. Don't even talk. Shut your, shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. What's your, what's your favorite movie besides Terminator? Yeah, what's your favorite movie besides Terminator? That one with Angela Lansbury. Angela Lansbury? I'm just playing. Murder, She Wrote? <laughs> Was there a Murder, She Wrote I, I would say, I would no. say on this list, mine would be, uh, this is Spinal Tap, but I don't think you guys have really? seen it. Really? No, I haven't seen that. Uh, I mean, you can talk about it if you want to. I, I have, not all of it, though. You can, I I've haven't watched, seen it. I've watched most of it. Just just a great mockumentary. If you haven't seen it, watch yeah. it. Yeah, th- that would be it. Um, I would say from that list, did we men- mention Gremlins, too? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I Gremlins. did. There was just so many, you forgot. I love Temple of Doom. Uh, let's talk some Karate Kid. Let's do oh, it. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Okay. The remake with Jaden Smith. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. What, what is that? What is I I really I legitimately have not watched that. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's it's not terrible. I don't I'll believe it at you. that. I no, I'll leave. No, it's not. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I don't think he did karate though. Um, Jackie Chan's in it though. Oh, oh. and he's pretty good at it. Oh yeah. But anyway, the original Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's the best line from every, from every movie. Yeah. Wax um, on, wax off. You're the best around. Yeah. Best soundtrack. Probably not the best soundtrack. No, probably not. <laughs> probably not. 
I'm, I'm telling you, I listen I to say, that. I would say uh, Beverly Hills Cop has that beat. Ooh, I listen yeah. to that Terminator soundtrack when I jog. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well. That big of a geek. Dude. Oh, well, no. We'll get into that in a second. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Talk, you, you're the one that brought it up. You talk about it first. <laughs> say, what you, uh, say what you want to say. One of those feel-good movies, like, like Chris isn't a feel-good movie person, no. but I feel like this is probably one of those. Yeah, the, the cold-hearted bastard doesn't even like Full House. Right? Oh, dude. Yeah, we're <laughs> well established. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I love this, and this came out when I was like five or six years old, so it hit right at that time. Yeah. And, uh, man, I just like this like this movie. Underdog kid moving out to California. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, getting caught up with the wrong people. Yeah. See, I don't like I don't like feel good movies, but I but I do like karate. Yeah. So I mean that makes up for it. Yeah. I like fighting. I like it when people get kicked in the face. So. Yeah. And and the, the battle lines. <laughs> the only thing that can say feel good movies is karate or boobies. <laughs> That's it. Oh. <laughs> right. Dude. They're drawn so clearly because Cobra Kai is so evil. evil. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually yeah. love them. They're great villains. Throughout. Well, and there's a, a there's a new YouTube series called Cobra Kai. Too. Called Cobra Kai. I need to watch that still. And uh, it's uh, what's his name? Ralph Macchio. Ro- no, Ro- no, the blonde guy. Um, and Macchio's in it. No, they're both in it. Yeah. Yeah. He because and it's kind of they play to the, the the head the head kid from Cobra Kai. Yeah. Uh, the one that that he beats <clears> at the end. Yeah. <clears throat> well, Johnny. 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 Yeah. Um, this that Cobra Kai show is like. Um, from his point of view as an adult, mm-hmm. and like Machio is He's kind of the, the bad good guy, guy. Yeah, 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 kind yeah. of, yeah. kind of. Yeah, no but way. he has his he has his own well intentions. I think from from because I think uh, he starts up his own he he starts up Cobra Kai again, yeah. and then they actually bring in the old tr- like the old master or whatever. Really? Yeah, that he's no, in. I it. haven't I, watched. I, it yeah, I haven't either. Long. But apparently, he's in it. Yeah. Um, I don't. I'm. I'm. I need to watch it. I'm. So this is a Netflix thing. Yeah. No. Oh, it's, it's YouTube. YouTube. It's YouTube. Red. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. Red. Uh, it's YouTube. Red. red. Yeah. 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 They're premium. You got to pay for it. Yeah. Uh, well, screw that. I ain't paying shit for YouTube, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube don't pay me. Exactly. I'm not paying exactly. them. You know what? You demonetized me, bitch. <laughs> yeah. I demonetized <laughs> you. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. You can't fire me. So I quit. <laughs> yeah. How's that for we quit you. The leg? We yeah, quit you. I'll you didn't quit your us. Leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We swept your leg first. You with your with your forty thousand all time views and your thousand subscriber changing in your. Please don't block us. Yeah, please. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> please, right, we please were, don't we block were, us in two hundred forty six countries. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were just talking about Alex Jones a little bit ago before we started recording. I don't want to end up like him. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Turning but, the freaking frogs gay. Yeah. Yeah. They're turning the frogs gay. <laughs> Favorite scene from the project. <coughs> Sweep the leg. Uh, when he's, I like dirty stuff. I, I like, I, uh, I like I'm a big he... I'm a big car guy, and I absolutely love when uh, he lets him take the car out. Yeah, oh, I, I love that. Dude, that, that was so. That was uh, that made me feel happy. Like that made me giddy yeah, whenever yeah. he let him take the car because I thought, man, how fucking awesome would that be? As a kid, as a kid, I loved uh, the tournament at the end, him winning, yeah, the yeah, underdog winning. Cool. But at the same time, now that I'm an adult, I kind of wish Johnny would have whipped his ass. Yeah. Yeah, so Alpha. Oh, I love. I wish they'd bring back the karate tournament movies. Like they yeah. never, you know, uh, sidekicks. Like uh, sidekicks. Sidekicks. Sidekicks was awesome. Yeah. That I actually like sidekicks better than I like karate. Yeah, I did too. I did. Chuck Norris. Yeah. Bloodsport. Bloodsport. Well, I mean, Bloodsport <clears throat> is one of my favorite. Side, movies sidekicks is one of those that kickboxer uh, too. Yeah. Sidekicks is one of those movies that was n- probably is probably not going to be good next time oh, I watch no, it. It's not it's like not. I, I'm going to watch it and I'm gonna be like, oh, this is bad. No, it's not good, but it's got Chuck Norris in it. But so nostalgia, bad. nostalgia wins every the time. The eyes of the ranger me. are upon you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that's, right. We actually used to. I right, I really you. hope I really hope they're not li- watching this. Um, but I I came up with a song of that about a cop from our hometown. Back in high school, and that, it was hilarious. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's alright. I can't say. It. You know it, I can't say it because you know it, who you are. Because uh, uh, YouTube would um, take it as racist, so I can't say it. Oh yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, they don't like that stuff. <laughs> ask, no, I ask PewDiePie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did uh, did Ralph Macchio get on your nerves in this movie? Yeah, a little bit. <sighs> yeah, uh, just like yeah. he does in everything. And, and, he's and ever the been fact in. that he lives. <laughs> I don't know if it's the New Jersey accent or it the fact that oh, it straight up is. He gets uh, Elizabeth Shue in this movie. Yeah, yeah. what a and prick! She's so much. Hot. Well, he's in that Man. one movie with freaking uh, talk about Jamie hitting, Gertz. 
Talk about. Oh yeah. Remember that? Talk about punching Outsiders. up. Yeah. Or no, no, it was was it something else? What? No, it was Crossroads. Okay. Crossroads yeah, of Jamie Jamie crossroads. Gertz Jamie Gertz in the eighties. Wow. Yeah. Talk about friggin'. I mean, she she's pretty hot in the nineties too. Still, but. friggin' uh, punching above your weight, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Jamie Gertz was pretty hot in that that one Machio, show too. Like Machio, uh, these women had to be like lesbians because Machio is a woman. Like, let's get for <laughs> real here. Yeah. He is like he is. Um, like that big around dude dude like i feel like you could just pick him up and do with him what you will yeah, yeah. well you know we were talking about that last night yeah those guys that never grow into their adult yeah. male bodies like, they just yeah. stay in they their 14 stay year old in, in the in their in 14 the, year old bodies yeah actually i mean he did kind of grow out of that as an adult later well but he's still tiny he's still pretty tiny, he's still tiny. most actually, you know how i feel about tiny people yeah you boop my <laughs> head i don't like them i don't like them you boop them on the head i don't trust you if you're tiny i don't trust you <laughs> Yeah. You know what I and I like I know this is going to sound bad. But dude, I'm just trying to get demonetized at this point. Uh, yeah. But uh, I hate British people. I know I know I know a, there's there's an old man, I won't say his name cuz you guys know him. But there's this old man that said that uh um don't trust midgets because uh they're like don't trust them or their family because uh their parents had to do something really evil for them to end up that way. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? Like I, <laughs> I actually I know um, I know a family that has a midget in it, and they're evil sons of bitches. <laughs> I completely like. I always thought, that, oh, that's so goofy. You know, this old man, he's so funny. And then we watch no, Leprechaun. Dude. Oh, dude. Yeah. We want to talk about. Mm. We need to do Leprechaun. Yes, creepy. I want to do Child's Play too. We do need to do that. What is it about little like? What is it about little people that are freaky? Weeble wobble. I don't. Know. I think it is. I think that's part of it. They are, dude. They got little features. Talking, they got little features. And puppet, it's creepy. Ma- puppet master. You know those the toys. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, they was, scared the shit yeah. out of me. Child's play. He scared the shit out of me. Uh, Leprechaun. He scared the shit yeah. out of me. <laughs> what is yeah. that? And it does. It's not rational to be it's, scared of. That. It's not rational to be well, especially ter- to especially be scared when of little small... stuff. Like I could literally just like Chucky. I could literally pick him up. And just throw him every time he came at me. Just kick the shit out of just, him. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, your reach, your reach, yeah, your reach is insane. <laughs> What's he gonna do? He's not. He can't do nothing. Who know, cares? Like he it. has. Oh, he's got. He's got a psycho killer when, soul. When little small so things what? that act like kick adults him. shouldn't be acting like adults, they're it's talking creepy. like adults. Yeah. It's creepy as shit. Yeah. It's yeah. creepy. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, the the uh, bad guy from Wild Wild West. Little guy, the, creepy. Little, as little shit. guy, no legs. And on the other hand. You know, when an adult's talking like a little kid, that's kind of creepy, too. Pee- yeah. Her- Pee-wee Herman. Yep, it is. Yeah, I agree. pretty creepy. I agree. Well, he was a weird guy, yeah. so. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Doctor Artemis Loveless. Yeah. No legs. Artemis Loveless. Yep. I mean, I'm talking original Wild Wild West, too. I'm not talking about... Uh, oh, the old one. I'm talking... not talking about that... Uh, 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 the, what was that? Uh, the, <laughs> the, the gay thing with Will Smith. Oh, oh, that thing. Yeah. The old one. That guy's yeah. That, okay, I know what you're talking yeah. about now. And I I love old Wild Wild West. Anyway, back to 1984. So yeah, yeah. Skip Woo! skip ahead to 1984. <laughs> um, well, skip man. back ahead to to he Karate plucked, Kid. I think that might be the most wildest tangent we've ever been. No, on. no, ever. No. I think Probably it not. might be. Maybe. That was wild. You might be right. We're gonna get through two movies in this entire <laughs> podcast. <So we're> gonna... <laughs> All right. So we went to Karate Kid, and. Was you said that was your favorite after Terminator? Uh, no, probably Spinal Tap and Temple of Doom. Oh yeah, Spinal Tap. Oh yeah, Temple of Doom. We ha- we've already talked about uh, Temple of Doom. Man, we've already talked about Terminator. We talked about a lot of stuff already. We've already talked about Indiana Jones. But uh, like you, we still have to say um, <clears throat> Terminator is one of the most influential. Okay, do you think? We think Terminator like objectively as we possibly can here. Uh, do you no, think- I don't think it's the biggest movie of '84. Really? Nope. I really don't. Best. Uh, yeah. Best, but not biggest. Not biggest. What's biggest? Uh, you think it's Revenge of the Nerds? No. Oh no, I think Ghostbusters. Oh yeah. Or about well, well, Sixteen Candles is pretty big. Eh. Yeah, yeah but this is the macho. Movie Sixteen podcast. Candles pretty big though. Yeah. Molly Ringwald and the Rat Pack, or whatever Dude, they call I, them. Fra- what do they call? When Frat you pack? look at 
the grand scheme of things and sequels and everything else, I don't know how you well, can't say Terminator wasn't the biggest. Well, yeah, I, I well, guess. Okay, you could say that about the sequels and stuff, but um, pop culture, though, dude, Ghostbusters. Okay, well, okay, well, let's let's say instead of talking about further influence, because you have because Ghostbusters is huge. Terminator's huge. I mean, just for 84. Yeah. Yeah. Not knowing there's going to be another Terminator. Not knowing there's going to be another Ghostbusters. Just, just... Oh, Ghost, Ghostbusters was bigger for the year. Yeah. yeah. You think it's the biggest of the year? Possibly. I'd say. Probably. Boy, man, there's a lot. I mean, of there's influence. a lot of big there's name There's so many influential stuff in this, though. A Nightmare on Elm Street, man. That's... Yeah. I mean, the first one. <clears throat> I would, you know, the Karate Kid kind of was big. That was very, very big. It was almost a hundred million dollar movie, dude. So Beverly you, Hills. Cop. I'm telling you, when you stack this up against '82, like there's a lot. Of, Man, I, I is think there... when we look at them as pe- like as us, we probably like some movies in '82 better. Yeah, like I, because I, you have the thing. You I think have... the quality's more. I think there's more quantity in '84. Yeah, definitely quantity. Dude, I don't Relatively. know, man. I don't know the nat. I think the natural is is in my it's quality. In my quantity. opinion, the natural is the second best sports movie ever made. Yeah, and and I consider Rocky a sports movie, and that's that means a whole lot when I say the natural is the second best sports movie ever made. Yeah, that means something. Oh, yours takes a lot. I don't. I really. Dude, do. I, don't, I. We probably should do. I mean, maybe we should do a sports movie podcast. Oh, we need to because I. I like sports movies. I hate football movies. Really? Yes, hate them. I love. Football and I movies. love. I love basketball. Couldn't care less. Like, well, like uh, uh, like Hoosiers and stuff. There's couldn't, not really any basketball. Care less about basketball. Well, there's. I think there's Space Jam. What about? I was about to say. What about Space Jam? Space Jam and well, what's the one Freaking with? The, what's the one with Daniel Stern with the Boston Celtics uh, and uh, Damon Wayne's Celtic Pride. Celtic Pride. I kind of like yeah, that movie. That's a good comedy. Yeah. yeah. But that and that's kind she of basketball. Game was pretty funny, dude. There's no other basketball games I can think of that I like. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg was in one. What? I can't remember the name. Eddie I, I or something. Oh yeah, yeah, where she, yeah. dude. I can't. Like, she is terrible. Th- maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe J.K. can remember something. He can. He can tell me. Later. Oh, I guarantee he can. But yo, text me after you. Re- yo, after yeah, you yo, this. text me after this. <laughs> um, yo, yo, hook a brother up. Um, dude, I can't think. Of. Football movies though. Replacements. Replacements. Oh yeah, that's the, the hands down. It goes. Water boy. It goes. Uh, replacements. That's funny. I was. I was going to say Water Boy. It's gonna, it, for me. It goes three for the football movies. There is the replacements, Water Boy, and um, Longest uh, Yard. No, oh, yeah. No, I wasn't even going to say that. I was going to say uh, what's the one with Pacino? Um, oh, I know the one where they're doing the the betting or whatever. Isn't uh, that the betting one? No. Well, I mean, there may have been some of that. I think he was, they were betting. That one's, that one's not my favorite one. It was, it was the, Any Given Sunday. Any Given Sunday. It goes. That was pretty good. No, goes, dude, have you watched Draft Day? No. With Costner? Draft Day's pretty good. No, Draft Day with Costner's good. You need to watch it. Dude, that's good it looked, shit. It looked serious. And I no, well, I, it is. I, I rarely get in. If if I'm in the mood to watch a serious movie, I watch old stuff that I know right. is good. Dude, this is good. I, but for me, it's good because of... I'm in fantasy football and stuff too, so I'm really you know I pay yeah, attention to like it. You yeah. would like it's, it though. It's the Costner. It's yeah. Costner's oh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. He's yeah. amazing. Yeah. In it. Uh, Tom Willing's in it too. Really? Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. What the hell were you we talking about? Sports movie. Sports movies <laughs> in 1984. Um, actually, actually, man, because another super influential Footloose. Yeah. Yeah, man, Kevin like, Kevin Bacon. That was like his big, that was his big deal. You're gonna have to carry me on this one. I don't think I've ever seen Footloose. What? Get the <laughs> f out of my house, <laughs> it's dude! Not, it's not a macho movie. Oh my god, dude! It's so macho. <laughs> it's so like they, that's pretty macho. They rate, like they play chicken with tractors. He fights people. Like and dances, dr- drinking, drinking beer. Okay, the, the, okay, hold on a second. It, he goes against. It's the as whole macho town. as a dance movie can be. It, and two, well, I don't know. Dirty, there's one scene. Dude, Dirty Dancing's got some good. It's well, got some that's macho stuff. Patrick in Swayze. It. Patrick it's got Swayze some macho can, stuff in it. Dude. Patrick Swayze. Dude, the man. Swayze. There's not a movie Swayze is in. I would say Ghost is macho. The Swayze <laughs> makes everything macho. Even Tu Wong Fu. Even Tu Wong Fu. <laughs> Swayze <laughs> makes everything macho. And had Snipes, and he was really macho in that. Yeah. Ugh. Darkness. Darkness, brother. <laughs> Darkness, everybody, dark. Um, <laughs> Footloose. The worst part about Footloose 
was his rage dancing in the barn. Yeah, that's the, or the only factory. bad thing. Oh my god, to let off steam, he danced. Okay, I can't. Yeah. That's the only bad thing. That's though. bad. That's the only. That's bad so thing. bad. You guys don't do that. No, I kind of do. Okay, <laughs> no, I kind of do. No, I don't do none of I'm that. Ashamed of it. I don't do anything that gay. I meditate. <laughs> I meditate when I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> Naked in my living room. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Candles, po- dude. Po- I do yoga. I do yoga when I'm Police Academy. Best movie ever. Super influential. Dude, Police Academy for real though. Like I'll be honest. Wow, I've seen it. I think I've seen it a hundred times. Really? Dude, oh, it's yeah. so I, good. Yeah, I bet I have too. I bet I have. Steve Gutenberg's yeah. best movie. I've got like I've got like six different versions of this movie. Yeah, it's good shit. And everybody, what's his name? Michael Johnson or whatever. Yeah, the guy with the sound name. effects. Yeah, I think that's oh, yeah. his name. Dude. Yeah. Kim Cant Cantrell Cantrell's in this one. The, Kim Cantrell. Cantrell. Uh, the really big black guy is my favorite. Bubba. Maybe. The guy that plays Bubba? Maybe. Is that his name? Bubba S- Smith, is that right? I don't yeah, in the movie. I don't, I don't remember his real name. Where he flips yeah. the car over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He uh, He's my favorite one. Yeah. Because he's a florist, you know. He's yeah, yeah like he's a, all soft-spoken. Yeah. He's no big deal. He's not going to hurt nobody. <laughs> but he's but he's just huge. Yeah. High t- uh, Hightower is one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, just because he's radical. And he's always bringing in these huge-ass guns. Yeah. Or that's tackle. That's tackle. Tackleberry. Berry. That's tackleberry. tackleberry. High towers. The, high high towers. High towers is name. Um, yeah, Bubba's. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right on the real name. Tackleberry is the one with all the guns. Yeah, the redneck. The redneck. Yeah, that's fucking. What awesome. about what about Firestarter? Uh, okay. See, because Firestarter is not that big of a movie. It's not. Well, but but it also started. Or well. <sighs> It started a career that uh, was very influential. Yeah. You it, know? It was, to me, it's one of the most faithful Stephen King adaptations, you know, to a movie that, that there is. Yeah. So a lot of times they take a lot of creative license with his, you know, with their scripts from, from his books. That one's almost page page to page mm-hmm. straight yeah. from the novel. Um. And you, uh, I don't know if you, either one of you know, but uh, Firestarter is was that her first? No, ET was before ET. E- ET was her very E-ter's, first movie. Yeah, ET's first. Then there was was it Cat's Eye or was it Firestarter and then Cat's Eye? Firestarter, and Firestarter, and Cat's, and Cat's, yeah. Which I saw Cat's Eye in the theater. Yeah. Really, a double feature. I wasn't supposed to be watching it. Really? Yeah, I, I still remember I that thing remember, crawling up the bed. I, I don't remember anything after that with her and until like Scream. Uh, 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 bad girls. Bad girls. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, dude. Dude, I don't think I didn't see. Sweet I didn't see Bad, Bad Girls. Dude, I didn't see Bad this. Girls is the shit. That's, that's the movie that made me decide I like blondes. Oh right my there. God. <laughs> dude, I love the very end too. Like, yeah. Or well, not the very end, but like they're at the end. Dude, what about Top Secret? <sighs> Top Secret, man. Did you watch Top Super Secret? Super underrated comedy. I know Val Val Kilmer. Yeah, so it's really really corny. Very corny. Very. But it's just you know, it's a secret spy parody yeah. kind of comedy. It is like a like naked a, gun type. It's a but... super corny naked gun. Yeah, what I'd probably like it. Yeah. You, oh no, you would. You, you would. would. It's yeah. very, it's really funny. Yeah, man, you corny. You would. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the woman in red is a is a really underrated comedy. Kelly LeBrock. Um, and Gene Wilder. Yes. Anything with Gene Wilder, I'm gonna Gold. recommend. Yeah, I love Gene Wilder and everything. Uh, Paris, Texas is a really good one that's, I never did that's see underrated. That it's a romance drama type thing. I, you know, I'm I'm did not you, gonna I'm not gonna talk about it because it's this is a macho movie. Speaking of romance, uh, did you watch Romancing the Stone? Yes, yes. Did you like it? Yes, yeah. yeah. I plug your ears. I I put I put it up there like adventure wise. I put it up there with Indiana Jones. Really? I do. I love it, Romancing the Stone. Yeah. Okay. You gonna you gonna unplug your ears, man? What, whatever that was, I'm glad I didn't hear. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say "Romancing a Stone" is equal, as good. Equal I'm to, not, yeah, it's not equal, but I put it up there. You know, right not un- better, right but equal under, to, right under Indiana Jones. <gasps> as good. This is as, my first time hearing this. Yes. You're kidding me. <laughs> uh, uh, is, uh, equal to equal to Temple of Doom. Oh, oh man. Oh. <sighs> equal to Temple of Doom. Not as good as Raiders. 
dude, we just lost all our all our yeah. subscribers just left. <laughs> I it. Just just lost a co-host. All, all two hundred and thirty people. <laughs> just lost a co-host. Get out of here. Uh, <laughs> no body double. I'll find a replacement. In body double. Five minutes is a super underrated movie. Uh, I remember, dude. I remember being so scared of of that movie. I don't know. I don't know. I'll it, have to check that it, out. Yeah, it's super underrated. It's it flew way under the radar. Well, I wouldn't say way under the radar. Uh, my grandma has it, and I remember what it's on tape. I remember watching it, and I wasn't supposed to be, and I got in trouble. Mm. Uh, she whooped my ass because there's a lot of there's a lot of nudity in it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, <clears> dude, <throat> when she found out, like she walked in the room, and I was watching that movie, and she whooped my. ass. Because she told me specifically not to watch that movie. Well, oh. you, well you got the movie, Grandma. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I think another one. I think another one. Uh, maybe it was called Blue Lagoon. I think Blue Lagoon, something like that. Maybe there's another. The there's one another. With the one, one with Brooke Shields. Return to Blue Lagoon. Uh, maybe? Ah, that that must not be it. That can't be it. That's the one with Brooke Shields. No, where it's like that, that was a lot earlier. No, than can't that. be. Can't be that. It can't be that. Well, with the her and the dude on the island where yeah. they're. Getting it on and stuff. Oh, that might be it then. I know there was nudity. I thought there. I thought that was a lot earlier than that. I don't remember. That might be eighty four. I know there was another. Well, it, was, it, well, there, it might have been. I'm just saying. Well, she was hanging out with. The reason the I blue, say was, the, uh, the Blue Lagoon wasn't on. the She list was coming in. She was coming into fame, like fame, right then around then though, because she was I hanging out with Michael Jackson. I don't Uh-oh. know. I don't know if if that was Thriller Days. I don't know if that's the right movie. I just Sheldon. know there was a move. There was another movie. No, that's, that, was that my grandma like, had that was like body double. I wasn't supposed to be watching it because I had nudity, and she whooped my ass for watching that. Hmm. Too. She probably whooped her ass all the time. Not really. There was only like two times, and it was because I was watching movies I wasn't supposed to. Watch. Oh yeah, yeah. I watched movies I wasn't supposed to all the time. Yeah. Told me, yeah. She used to tell me all the time she'd watch stuff like that, and she'd say, "Cover your eyes." Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, grandma. Yeah. Yeah, Grandma, no problem. Yeah, Grandma, no problem. Yeah, no problem, Grandma. Sitting over there with <laughs> sitting over there with a chub because I'm just <laughs> full on rager. Yeah, watching watching uh, titty nipples. <laughs> hey, you ain't supposed to see that. Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't look at that. What you, you doing? Can't look at that. I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> she showed me her boobies and I like that too. <laughs> oh shit! Nah, but. uh. No, I, I think Body Double's super underrated. It's a yep. very, very it's a it's a scary movie. Or at least from what I remember, it's a scary I've never movie. seen it, so I don't know. Uh um but no. Uh, what else is there? Uh, <laughs> well let's talk about it. something strange. Talk about what? Which one? Ghostbusters? Yeah. Huey Lewis in the news. I want a new drug. <laughs> then you uh then that lawsuit between that and that dude the race ray parker or whatever yeah. ray parker jr mm. over that song i want a new drug it sounded way too much like like i want a new drug you know people there's there's only so many chords you can play yeah only yeah. only so many progressions of the same chords. goddamn huey, huey lewis man you you're, you're still awesome to this day you know, why, why are you worry about uh, that unless you're rush uh, that dude didn't play you know. anything yeah unless you're rush. <laughs> um not to get off on another wild tangent like I was. Oh, it's wild. I want to. I want to get back to Ghostbusters, but I also want to say before, um, before I forget, I do want to talk about. Um, Man, I love Ghostbusters. I, I want to do a podcast on movie soundtracks. Okay. Um, and I also want to say before I before we get off this, um, I think Huey Lewis and the News are the most influential. Uh, M- movie soundtrack band ever. They've been they've been used. I would say like not not near as much. Uh, I know they, like, like Phil the, Collins. The, the, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Because yeah. oh, yeah. Phil Collins did what two Disney movies? Get or, the fuck out of or here. Or Queen. Uh oh yeah, I would say even more than Queen. Queen. Um, Queen actually, the, the most used song. In uh, movies is uh, Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. Oh, that doesn't surprise um, me. Jesus Christ. But. That's the white people anthem. But. True. Um, Huey get, Lewis and the I News. Get, I get crunk with that song. <laughs> Huey Lewis and the News has had more 
different songs over a bunch of different movies. Dude, they I mean, had two two huge songs just for Back to the Future. Exactly. I'm American hell out of Psycho. Here. Exactly. Yeah. American Psycho. Yeah. Huge. Yes. Huge. And that's not it either. It was. I mean, there was a bunch of different movies that Huey Lewis and the News did main songs for. Like yeah. there's a there was a long string of movies that Huey Lewis and the News had a big part in. I I you know that's just I just wanted to say that because you brought it up. You brought up Huey. Well, listen, I'm gonna have to agree with you because I like Huey Lewis. And the I news. do too. I love Huey. How the fuck do not love Huey News? Dude, I mean Huey Huey Lewis, Huey Lewis and the News is like. Damn. He was, he was Super mainstream, very generic. Yeah, they're too good. They're too good. But they're also so catchy mm-hmm. that you can't not like them. Exactly. Uh, I agree. But anyway, I'll have to, we'll have to think about that because there might there's probably some other ones. Yeah, I mean, I like that though. No, I, I, I right, as of right now, I definitely agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that in the near future. Okay. I want to talk about soundtracks, soundtracks, movie soundtracks. Yes. Decades or uh, just any all above. Oh, I don't know. Any, I don't know. any, any uh, also Resident Evil, man. Resident Evil's shit for me because I'm I love metal. Yeah. Oh, that's some good metal. Resident Evil. Is a lot of stuff shit. I've never heard of, but they're not. Oh well, I mean, I do. But, right. Uh, like you know, um, Slipknot, um, Kill Switch Engage, you know, just all kinds of bands like that. Ge- uh, super generic metal. Resident Evil is the king. It's good. For, very, for very, very good yeah. for that. Popular metal. You well, know. and they also started. They come out in the early mid to mid two thousands too. They started in where that shit was in every movie. Yeah. And, oh, as it should be. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, by that you, time, they you had knew to, what year it was. Had to replace Living Dead Girl. Exactly. And everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else we got? We got we got a shit ton of. Oh there. my god! Well, we didn't really talk about. Ghost we talking Monsters. about sixteen candles? Uh, no, we're not. Oh, okay, okay. I've actually. We're I talking will, about purple rain. I'm going to admit right here. Mm-hmm. I've never seen sixteen candles. Oh really? You need no. to see it if for nothing else. Long duck dong. Yep. Long, Long duck yeah. dong. Yeah, it's classic yeah. shit. Uh, Ghostbusters. We didn't really talk about. Um, it's one of the most influential movies of all time. Uh, one of the best movies at ever. this point, and I know this is a one of the best eighties movies of all time. This is a uh, the words I'm gonna I'm about to speak are gonna be loaded here. Okay, well, I'm coming it. at you hard and fast. Let's hear it. I like Ghostbusters. Yes, I like it a lot. I think it's a very good movie. I also think that the hipsters and the fake nerds have made it one of the most overrated movies of all time because they won't shut the fuck up about it. We were just talking about that, but it was with Breakfast Club. Yep. I agree. I, I absolutely agree. I've uh, Breakfast Club is not that great. It, it it's good it's a good it's no. a good movie. See we don't it's a good movie. We said we we actually I think it's great. I think we both love it. Yeah. It's, See, it's a great movie. It. But it. it is highly overrated now because a lot of fucking people like you said at dinner a lot of people like it, and they never even fucking watched it. Right? Yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of people say how much yeah. they loved it, and never watched yeah. it. When you're getting parodied by Disney shows that my kids watch, yeah, and yeah. you know shows like oh the Goldbergs and stuff. Plus, one of the best movies of all, or one of the best scenes out of not another teen movie was from yeah from yeah. a couple of those. It is highly overrated, but it is it's a highly overrated. Good now. to great, yeah. It's a great, and that's good. and that was that's what I was saying. And about and Ghostbusters. that is probably one. Uh, other than Huey Lewis and the News, that is one of the biggest songs and soundtracks of the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. Don't You Forget About Me. Yeah. It, it is the biggest song of the 80s, if I would say yeah, it, it probably of, is. One of. It, one of. But it might be there's, the there's biggest a, song. There's a lot. There's we'll a talk lot. about mid, it. The mid-80s for sure. We'll talk yeah. about it. That is one of the biggest songs speaking, of the 80s. Speaking of uh, influential <laughs> songs from movies, uh, Purple Rain. Dude. 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 Uh, Purple Rain, the movie, garbage. See, I was telling him about this earlier. I'm one of probably the very few that like Purple Rain a lot. Oh, well, yeah, you're but, a Prince fan, though. Well, that, that's what I was telling him you're at dinner, Prince though. Fan. That's what I told him at dinner. I yeah. said, I said, here's the thing about Purple Rain, and I knew you wouldn't agree. Like, Purple Rain is one of those movies that it's not a good film, but it's not for a like a musical style film. It's not that bad. I can see yeah, that. I can it see was. That. It was. I can see that. Even if you don't like it or people don't like it now because it's kind of eighties cheese. Yeah. 
it was huge at the time. It was a huge yeah. movie yeah. for eighty in the eighties, especially for people who were Prince fans or up from Minneapolis. When, you, when you look at the kinds of movies, like, like musical movies, like The Song Remains the Same with Led Zeppelin yeah. and, yeah. and uh, The Wall, Pink Floyd, right? You know, that's 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 a good example. some of some yeah. of his like his best album, like some of his best work came from that movie. Yeah, like some mm. of his best shit. I agree. Al- almost all of his best shit came from that I movie. Yeah. I like purple. Almost, Purple Almost Rain. every song in that on that album was amazing. Purple Rain is an amazing song, and that's an amazing song. That I th- I, it was an amazing Purple scene. Purple Rain in is movie. my absolute favorite song of his. Oh sure, hundred uh, percent. That's probably very normy to say because everybody. Like the movie. But oh, dude, I don't give a fuck. no. I don't care. I don't it's amazing. Shit. Oh, it's I love it. It's, it's my favorite too, and I'm a Prince fan. I'm and I'm not even. I'm not a Prince. I know. Like, there's there are several of his songs that I love. And then there's like most of them. I can, I can not, right. I can do without. Right. Well, I'm, Pur- I'm purple rain's not one of them. I cannot do without purple rain. Yeah. It's amazing. It is an amazing song, whether you like him or not. It, is it doesn't from, matter. It is it from is, start like, to finish. One of the best songs dude, ever, dude. It's, be- it's absolutely beautiful. Yep. It it's is sad. I agree. Oh my God. Dude, it's good. Woo. All right. Anyway, anyway, enough of that shit. That's enough of that. <laughs> There ain't no crying on this podcast. Yeah, yeah. Beverly I'm not Hills, crying, you're Beverly crying. Hills Cop, dude. Damn, damn, damn. Where, like, <laughs> damn, damn. hey, didn't they? Didn't didn't the dude play that at the end of Revenge of the Nerds on the violin? Wasn't that the song he was playing on the yeah, end? It's the same year. I don't yeah. know. The same year. Was that the same thing? Uh, no, it was a diff- It was the next Revenge of the Nerds, dude, wasn't it? Dude. No, it was the second one. It's the end when they did the. No, it was. Dun, dun, dun. No, 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 no. That was a different song. song. Different song. Never mind. Never mind. I just, I just, it just hit me. <laughs> it just hit me. Different song. It was a different song. Yeah, well, Strike that. Forget that. But it, don't, sound, don't, it sounded a lot it like was similar. Oh, dude. So gay, dude. I don't care. We're already demonetized anyway. I don't care. <laughs> that Dude, Revenge of the Nerds, at the time, I'm sure was really cool, especially for nerds. I like Revenge uh, of the Nerds. Dude, I think it's probably the gayest movie from 84. More so than Purple Rain. Mo- oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my wife saw it. <laughs> My wife saw the DVD in the store a few years back. She's like, "Oh, let's get this," and she forgot how raunchy it is. Yeah. Oh, it's very oh, raunchy. Yeah. It's very raunchy. <laughs> it's kind of uh, it's like uh, my mom and dad had me. I had a I got a special edition box set of um, uh, National Lampoon's Vacations, and my mom and dad yeah. wanted to buy it off of me. I was like, "Are you sure?" Yeah. And they're like, "Oh yeah, we love." In the very we first scene, these. Beverly D'Angelo's just. Ooh. Start yeah. naked, man. Yeah, and the they're curves. like, oh, hell yeah. yeah. They're like, oh yeah, we love those movies. And then my mom, like, I is like, all right. So I sold it to him, hey. and or no, I gave it to her for Christmas. And she watched, uh, she watched the first one. And she's like, man, I could, I, I had to turn it off because it's so, you know, oh, oh shut up, you watched That's the whole crazy. thing, oh, you gonna stare and you loved it, Christy yeah. Brinkley, when you got Beverly D'Angelo dude. in the shower, dude. dude. Woo, I don't know. stabbing her I mean, with a banana. Both of them, you know. Both of them, exactly. You know <laughs> exactly. If you're Ric Flair, it'd be at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> Having a hard time keeping these gators down. Yeah. I think this is a sec- this is a-, <laughs> this is a hard time keeping a lot of things down. This is the second show in a row I've said that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna say it for it might as well. I'm gonna say with it macho me. with macho glasses on. Yes, but exactly. we're gonna we're gonna quote Ric Flair. Yeah. I don't care. Maybe we should have called this the Woo Podcast. Maybe, maybe the, mo- the movie Woo. The Woo movie podcast. Maybe we should have. Ralph Macchio movie podcast. Uh, Ooh, I like Red that. Dawn. One of my favorite movies Dude, Red of Dawn. all time. Of all time? Of all time. I mm. love, like I said somebody, earlier, somebody like I said earlier, you put Swayze in a movie, it's macho as shit. It doesn't matter <laughs> what the context is. Dude. And Charlie Sheen, too. Yeah. And Charlie, and dude. Charlie Sheen, man. Three hookers, Charlie Sheen. Tiger's blood. Man, oh yeah. He's, I mean, he's got the heart of a dragon, the blood of a tiger. He's just winning. Winning. <laughs> HIV positive. Yeah, you got to stay positive. <laughs> stay stay positive. HIV even. Just be as positive as you can yeah, be. Yeah. Woo. Anyway, Red Woo. Dawn. I love, <laughs> love Red Dawn, dude. I love Red I Dawn. Uh, the remake was okay. Did you watch the remake? It was. No. It, was, it, it, was, was. it was okay. I, it, was I, okay. W- it was very good. Dude, when Hemsworth got it, though, that yeah, shocked the shit it. out of me. I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of Hemsworth. Hemsworth? Yeah, he's okay. Weird. I think he's okay. He's I right. think he's okay. He's okay. Uh, I, I thought you were going to say Red Dawn. I'm like, hey. Yeah, oh, yeah. no. I like what, You're going down notches. Dude, I love Red Dawn. You're going love down notches, Andrew. Any movie, any movie where the Russians are the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's good stuff. It's well, they're, good. It's so easy. It's, it's just yeah, like they Germans. Are it's like Germans. Yeah, exactly. It's the, exactly. That's Germans, what we talked about that during the, the podcast. Indiana- uh, the the uh, Indiana Jones podcast. Yeah. If yeah. I started talking in a Russian accent, all you listening would just hate me. You got you probably got, do anyway. You've yeah. got Nazis, oh, and then you've got communists that's killed like a hundred <laughs> billion people. Like I mean, exactly. it's easy. Um. Oh man. What else you got? There's too many to what talk you- about. Children of the Corn. Weird, dude. Yeah, it's, dude. We we haven't done probably that. one of the one of the creepy one of, probably one of the creepiest scary movies ever. Because, it really is because any like I said earlier, anytime you put a kid killing people, or, dude, or nasty a small, a small person, like nasty killing people, yeah, in an savagely. isolated area, like, yeah, yeah, that's terrifying too. We've looking seen, shots, looking out windows at empty it's streets. It's pretty shocking. Yeah. It's pretty shocking to see kid doing that shit. Yeah, I mean, it really it is. is. It's fucked up. Yeah, more so than killing a kid. Yeah, like it's, let's see kids doing that yeah. to people, like adults. Like that's ugh. Like, uh, um, oh, what's that? What's the uh, be, boom, what, what's be, the movie boom, with uh, Damien? Uh, Omen. The Omen. Oh yeah. my yeah. god, dude! Yeah. The Omen. It's it creepy. Dude. <laughs> yeah, talk about Firestarter, dude. Creepy man. <laughs> Omen's way creepier. I agree. I agree. Uh, 1984. I don't know if you guys... I haven't seen that. Okay, so uh, 1984 is the movie adaptation of George Orwell's novel, 1984. Oh, yes. It shows... It's super dated. Super. Super dated. Um, It's super just... It looks star. bad. Well, I'm sure the book was probably written in the 60s. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know when it was wrote. So a lot of think, the ideas were probably. A I bit. think it actually was wrote earlier than that. Might have been. But anyway, uh, um, yeah, I've, I've shit. I've watched it like a dozen times, half a dozen times in school, and then half a dozen times out of school. Uh, I need to watch it. It is. It. It's got William Hurt from Alien in it. Yes, yeah. it's terrifying. Or John Hurt, William Hurt's in Sharknado. <laughs> he's, the, he's the dad in home alone. also I good just, i just agreed with you <laughs> also um, good i was just testing yeah sharknado you. also a classic also classic in its own they've right. made seven of them now <laughs> but in less than six years uh so Tara, how tell me how that works Tara reed's got a career now oh yeah no, dude. Hell yeah um 1984 is terrifying it started 1984 started my fear of the government um E.T. did that for me. I'm already scared of the government. Dude. Oh, if you're already scared, you don't you don't even want to watch that. I, I, I don't think I it's probably need terrifying. to. Like, it shows him... Oh, man, I don't know. They Like, they just... They control everything. They, they control do. your thoughts. They do. They control what he can eat. You know, they're like you... Like, just think about They Live as a softer version. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they, they Live... Subliminal messages. They Live is... is uh, is a better movie. It's a lot funner. 1984 is not fun yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, it's it's terrifying all... the whole way through. It's and it and uh, it's realistic. Yeah. I don't. It it just it is and it's, it's terrifying. I was I scared of the government when I was a kid eating that government cheese. Yeah. Yeah. The I government. would be too. Old I would government. be too. Um, Dune. I have. I. I've never made it all the way through. I'm passing on. Dune. Yeah. I. I have. That's, um, that's a no for me, dog. I, I no mean. Me. I mean to watch it, but I keep falling asleep during the same part. Star Trek. Really? <laughs> Star Trek. That's a no for me, dog. Uh, Star. Th- Star Trek Three. That's a no for me, dog. That's a no um, for me, dog. The Last Starfighter. I don't have nothing that's to a, say That's about a no it. for me, dog. Uh, the Natural. I already talked about it earlier. Good. Think, that's that's a thumbs it's, up for me, dog. It's like the second best. I, and I'm and I'm just saying uh, that's off the top of my head, okay? That's off the top of my head because there's a lot of good sports movies. Yeah, that's what. We're but talking about. but I put the natural way up there. Uh, a lot of it's because the actor. Like baseball movies, there has been a shit ton of good baseball movies. Yes, there has been. Like so, there hasn't been yes. much of anything else. Yes. yes. Like there's and I, there's and mighty know, ducks for this, hockey. This, this guy over here, I know exactly. Well, what are you I don't thinking? know exactly. I don't know exactly. What are you thinking? I don't want to speak. What are you thinking? I don't want to speak. What are you thinking? Hit me with it. Field of Dreams. Nope. No Field of Dreams? Nope. Oh, he knows what I'm going to say. League of Their Own? Nope. <laughs> I, dude, I love League of Their Own. League of Their Own's great. Yeah. yeah. League of Their Own's a good baseball I think I've, I think I've actually said this on 
the podcast. Hey, and that's coming from two dudes that was, who generally hate progressive style movies. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've already said this on the podcast, but The League of Their Own is one of the only times I ever cried at a movie. Which, mm. what, what part? When when um, when uh, Dottie lost? I, I or think. When, I don't remember. I was, I was really little, and I watched it late at dude, night. Dude, I remember watching that when I was a kid and being pissed that she lost. <laughs> yeah. But she, but I, she let her. I mean, right. I, I think she did anyway. She did. I think she, she let did. her. Because she didn't care about it as much as Kit did. And Kit still, this day, just, bull, just bugs the shit out of me. Evil yeah. little girl. Yeah. Not good at anything. Cries about everything. Yeah, she's, she was... Uh, You're the participation trophy generation style kind of thing. It's she, all this. She was looking good point break. Mm-hmm. Oh, hell. Hell yeah. Still. Um... Anyway, we already talked That's about... That's probably one of the hottest uh, I've ever seen Gina Davis, too. Once Upon a Time in America... Super underrated movie, I think. Never seen it. Um, oh my god! Okay, so if you have a whole day to commit to watching a movie, I you don't. Need, you need to sit down I and watch and Once Upon a Time in America. It is like four freaking hours. If I had a whole day to designate to movies, Hold on, let, me, let me. I would. Find I would. I would pick movies I've seen a hundred times already to watch. <laughs> I guarantee. You. Okay, I was wrong. But not far off. I would pick a marathon. It is three hours and forty nine minutes. Yeah, no. If I'm gonna, dude, I'll watch fucking. I'll watch Lonesome Dove. Put if I'm on, gonna put them on in your store. Who's gonna tell you no? Exactly. Yeah, that's. I've wondered that uh, many times. Whenever you've said that you ha- that you didn't watch something, I'm like, no, I don't watch movies in the store. Why, why not though? Well, because like you, you have on. Unlo- is it because the the access? Is it because uh, yeah, I just don't care. Yeah, it, yeah. it's it's one of those things where that's I, what I, I'm. I, that's what I it's, I'm. Uh, like, I work in a fabrication shop, and there's all kinds of stuff that I've been like, man, I should make that. And I'm like, eh. Yeah, I see that shit every day. No, what, <laughs> no, what it is, honestly, is I, it's just, even when I'm slow, I am usually, like, uh, within, there, there's not enough time frame for me to just sit down and watch movies. I, I think engaged. I probably could, but yeah, yeah, because, dude, somebody comes in, I'm fucking talking to them. Or they're talking to me, and they want to hang out for a minute and talk to me. Yeah. And that's cool. So, like, I'm engaged in that conversation. I have to be engaged in that conversation. Yeah. I can't get engaged in a movie. And then I've got other things I've got to do, like, sporadically throughout the day. Well, and, if, and if it's for, during the first half of the week, there's no fucking chance. See, there's there, one, thing that I've, one thing that I've done, or that I've gotten uh, good I've got at much stuff to do to get since engaged. I've, since I've uh, became a dad, is... I never used to do this, but now I do a lot. Is I uh, pause stuff and come back to it later. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. never used to be able to do that. Well, and that's see, but, I, now, but now I can see. And I don't. I haven't got there yet. Yeah. I'm not there. I, I just want to sit down and watch something uninterrupted. I want everybody to shut wait, the hell up. Kind wait of till your kids get old enough to fight. <laughs> and yeah, you really yeah. have to pause. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah, all yeah. looked at them. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! See, I'll just put my headphones on and be like, no, nope. no. Go die over here or something. You get into something. You get sharp objects. Yeah, I got. I got. I'll two, take care of you. Just don't got, bleed out until the movie's over. I I got. Uh, I, I'll just uh, boop them on the head. Yeah, there you go. Let's get one on each side. Just bap. We'll, See, if I was we'll like be- my dad, if I was like my dad, Hello, then, I, then uh, like I just lock them outside. Yeah, you could no. have, it, have at it. No, yeah, yeah, you have no. at it. Yeah, you want to kill each like, other? Go ahead. I'm doing my yeah. thing in here. Oh, dude, my dad was super mean about TV. Yeah, like. You, you know, I bought the TV. I bought the VCR. You be careful VCR. what you say. Be careful what you say. Those I, people get in trouble for things they did 20 years ago. I bought the movie. They're show up at DFS, I, show up at his house. They don't, you don't even live with them anymore. I bought, I bought the electricity. The TV's in my house. <laughs> like, we're watching what I want. Yeah. You yeah. do not watch cartoons. Yeah. I am the man. You can watch cartoons when I'm asleep. Yeah. When I'm working or asleep, you yeah. can you can do whatever. Exactly. You, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, right until then. You can yeah. walk all over your mom. You ain't going to do that to me. Exactly. That's exa- <laughs> And that's exactly, he's like, he's like, your mom can, she can either let, she can let you watch stuff if she wants, but I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Like, this is my time. This is my house. Yeah. My house. Yeah. But I appreciate it. I appreciate that actually a lot. I, no, I do too. I, I, do. I respect it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, gosh, uh, back to Once Upon a Time in America, you have to watch this movie. It is amazing. Uh, Robert De Niro, James Woods. Oh, I like it's James Woods. the best. I don't care. The best James Woods ever. Really? Ever. Damn. Serious role. He's and he's uh, he's not Wood. playing a slime ball. He's a crime boss. 
Sweet. Right. It's Robert De Niro, James Woods. Total difference. They're both mobsters. They're friends from little kids. Oh, I like and then that. they then they grow apart. Uh, the ending is kind of uh, hotly debated because you don't know. Okay, I won't. I'm not going to spoil anything because I want you both to watch this movie. But one of them may have died, but you don't know. Okay, hmm. it, he they leave it open. It's a Sergio Leone movie. Okay, hmm. so it's uh. You got a lot of loud trumpets. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got a lot of talking. Uh, Probably a lot of quiet, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah. It's a beautiful movie, though. Beautiful movie. Yeah, check it out. Absolutely gorgeous. So is there any uh, other movies we want to talk about real quick before you ended up? Shit, I don't you know, know, know man. Thing up? Shit, I don't know, man. Uh, Friday the 13th, Shit, Final no, Chapter. Man. Shit, it's no, Shit, no, man. Great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Great, great, movie. great slasher. One of the I was I, I was going to say you can go watch a video on it we talked about. Well, we got our podcast on it, but other than that, we, we um, had a mishap. So Okay, so. We we're going to have a versus on it sometime. Night of the Comet. Uh, that's another one I was I wanted to talk about earlier that is super underrated. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've I've scoured the internet for a special edition uh, Blu-ray of this, and I haven't found one yet. But it is awesome. You have to like if memo you, de, memo to scream factory. Yeah, if you can if you can I find this, do it. if you can find this, it, you need to watch it. It's freaking awesome. There's uh, these twin sisters. Are are they twins? I don't think they're twins. I think they're just sisters. Um, but there's, it's kind of like, um, shit. I just lost my train of thought. It, it but it's uh, the, a comet goes over, goes overhead, turns everybody into zombies except for a handful of people. <clears throat> they have to go, like they go to this mall mm-hmm. and and try to get away from the zombies. It's just freaking well, like awesome, it. dude. Like it's that. awesome, and it's old. Like it's a you know, it's eighty four. Yeah, but it's way ahead of its time. I yeah. I watched it. <clears throat> I had it recorded off of. Uh, they played it super late. Uh, it was one of the midnight shows on CBS. They showed it like every Saturday night for a while. They would do like the same movie every couple weeks for uh, at midnight. Yeah, and it was one of them. So I just recorded it when I was. I ah, shit. I was like. Sounds Eight a, years old sounds man. a little bit like Dawn of the Dead or something. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It's uh, it's cornier. It's it doesn't take itself as serious. Okay, yeah. it's super good though. Like, where are they getting all these military weapons? I don't know. Uh, just it, it's friggin' awesome, dude. You need to find it. Just, Night, Night of the Comet. Awesome. Take my word for it. Go find it. It's awesome. Before we end, there's there's a little crappy B movie that I like called Trancers. <laughs> It's sci-fi, you know, <clears throat> right up my alley. Uh, mm-hmm. But don't expect a whole lot. It's it's very low budget. Yeah, but it's Something it's worth, worth a watch worth on watching. a night where you got nothing to do. Yeah. Uh, as far as everything else goes, uh, Terminator, uh, Nightmare on the Street, stuff like that. Temple. Uh, we have got yeah yes. we've we've got podcasts already on those Conan games. the Destroyer. Conan's yeah we're just um, well we know some the Schwarzenegger one uh, yeah. the essentials or unessentials. Yeah. Um, so yeah, be sure to check those out if you want our, our more a little bit more, not too much more detail because we don't do that. We like to get off subject. But if you want to, if you want to hear a little bit more about it, you can you can hook you know you can you can watch those or listen to those. Yeah, um, we went into those a little bit more. Um, I didn't, I don't know if we wanted we just didn't really want to cover all those again. No. Nah. When there's too many other movies to talk about, but yeah. I still think this is. Oh, man, I would say. It's right there with eighty two. Man, it's I right say, there. I would say it is. I think it almost it could almost pass it depending on maybe the day yeah. how I'm feeling. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? On, like, by the mood. Yeah, I agree. Phew, man, I, agree. I feel you. Just, I mean, of course we're, but we also we also didn't look at summer releases either because because right. the summer itself of eighty two. Oh yeah. I don't know if yeah. I don't know if eighty four would beat it because I don't know what the, all because those. I mean, we're talking about the whole year here. Yeah, we oh, didn't. Yeah. Well, the summer talking about the whole year of eighty two. You've you know you've got. First blood that we didn't yeah. throw in. Yeah, so. yeah. There's that. That's it'd be a close year. Yeah. Ooh, man, that'd be yeah. That's something we'd have to really think about. Yeah, versus versus maybe. Ooh. Let 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 us know in the comments too, or you know, send us a message, email, something like that. Let yeah. us know what you guys think. Uh, I think next time we do a year, we should probably do ninety four. That was a huge year. Ninety three was big. Ninety three was big. Jurassic Park. Which we already—I mean, we covered Jurassic Park. Yeah, stuff, but, but, but I mean, still. Tell us what you want to hear. True yeah, Lies JK. and Jurassic Park. 
I think that was 93. <laughs> yeah. Was, yeah. Hey, JK, text me. Was and tell 90, me what you want. Was True Lies 94 3? 94. 94. Okay. Oh, yeah, 94 was big. Yeah. Nin- dude, 94. Was time 94 cop. was yeah, big. Time Cop. Time Cop. Yeah. The best movie of all time. Yeah. Street Fighter. What's Street Fighter? Better than Clueless. 94. Or five. five. <sighs> Boy, I don't know about that. Clueless. Uh, when was was Street Fighter ninety four? As sometime ninety three year four. Uh, I mean, I should know that is well, the best. Movie I, I think it's ninety five because he did. I know he did time cop. Uh, find out they won. Uh, they won all the Academy Awards for Street Fighter, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Best actor. all of them. Yeah, all of them. Every yeah, single, yeah, every single. Actor. I think they made a couple awards for the best movie, movie too. Best acting by a guy with green skin. Yeah, yeah. Be- best Razzie. Wasn't Razzie something like? Isn't that good? Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think Razzie's a good thing. Yeah. No. No, it's not. Um, yeah, anyway. If you if you like what you hear, support us on Patreon, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you yeah. check us out. Even if you don't like it. Yeah, support us anyway. It's just because Chris said so. Yeah, I'll, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll do whatever you want. We get tired of living in Chris's yeah. spare bedroom and eating ramen. Yeah, yeah, I'm sick of staying here. It's hot yeah. in this room. Yeah, I'm going to lock, you lock guys, them back up in the closet. For the, if, at least for the love of God, just give us a window unit or something so we <laughs> yeah. can... I can sleep better. Nope. I'm I'm too proud to beg, but come on, give us some money. Yeah, <laughs> please. We'll see you all next time. See you. Bye.